Yo, I don't know what the deal is with the Renegade Raider standing here, but she just pulled out of absolutely nowhere and said if you guys didn't leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel in the next 7.2 seconds, she was going to do something pretty insane. And looking at the pump shotgun she's holding, I really wouldn't doubt her. So just leave a like and subscribe. Yo, Nack, what's going on, dude? Nothing much, Sci-Fi. What's up with you, bro? I'm just sitting here, bro. I want a 1v1 as always, but there is something I have to talk to you about, but I don't want to get right into it yet. Uh, all right, bro. Yeah, let's just 1v1. All right, then. Yo, Nack, honestly, I can't even believe your sister, like, straight up attacked you yesterday. That was kind of insane. And, like, that's kind of what I have to talk to you about today. It's, like, related to your sister. Oh, gosh, bro. This does not sound like it's going to be good, bro. It, it's not really that good, but let's just get into this and... And I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> Yesterday, honestly, was just crazy dealing with your sister. And, like, the fact that you had to do that, like, I mean, I don't know. It's your sister. Like, yeah, she probably beats up on you from, like, here and there. But, like, dude, this seemed like she was actually, like, being super serious about it yesterday. And it's not cool because, like, what she did after that was actually pretty crazy. And I don't know if she mentioned it to you, but it was something that she did to me, basically. Uh, no, she didn't, like, say anything to me, bro. Like, did she, like, attack you, too? Uh, no. Luckily, she didn't attack me because I probably would have told you about it a little bit sooner. But, uh, I guess what you said to her yesterday kind of stuck with her. Like, how I basically don't want to talk to her, like, ever and, like, I don't like her. And, uh, she took that to heart and she got pretty upset about it. And then, uh, she started saying some, like wild stuff bro bro what like wh what did she say like this does not sound like it can be good at all it's not bro because like she's crazy which you already know like this girl just straight up was i don't, I don't even know how to explain let's just keep going and i'll keep telling you basically like i don't know she messaged me and i was like okay i don't even know how you have me anymore because i blocked her but she has like multiple accounts now i guess i don't really know what's going on with that don't really care and uh basically she was just being weird as always you know that like she's not a sane person at all and then uh, like yeah she started being like extremely weird so like you remember yesterday when you said or when i basically told you to tell her that if she wants to hit someone come hit me because i'm the one who said like i don't want to talk to her and whatnot uh yeah bro i i remember that well uh basically she first like started just messaging me and she was talking about that and i was like i'm not being serious like you're not coming to my house and attacking me so just back off there i don't know what you're talking about and then she was basically telling me that like you know you said it was okay and i was like okay he didn't actually it was just what i said so you would stop hitting him stuff like that and then bro like it just progressively got weirder and weirder so uh she wasn't hitting me. She was just hitting on me, if you know what I mean. Bro, she was hitting on you? Yeah, and, like, it got crazy. Bro, like, what all did she even say? Like, this, like, is kind of... It's going, like, kind of weird right now, dude. Well, uh, she basically was just saying, you know, um, that she still wanted to be with me and she doesn't think the other day was just a prank when I said, like, I had to date her and stuff when you beat me in the 1v1. Still not cool, by the way, because I think that's the reason all of this is happening. But yeah, she was just being extremely crazy about that. And then I was like, just stop talking. Like, there's zero chance you and I ever, like date or anything like that you know i was forced to because of a prank you know yada 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 and she wasn't having it bro she was like no nah, i feel like there's an actual connection here and i was like okay then you're obviously like drunk or something because there's zero connection ever because you're a weirdo and uh dude like i said she's not taking no for an answer she is basically sitting here telling me a bunch of crazy stuff and saying that uh basically dude she wants me to marry her dude you're you're, you're joking right no not at all this girl is being like a hundred percent right now she's like i know right now we're just messing around having fun and i was like uh what are you talking about having fun like uh, i hate you this is not fun uh it would be fun if you left me alone and uh, like I said, she doesn't take no for an answer very well, I guess, because then she was like, I just think we need to like move on in the relationship and like take it a step further. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, what relationship are you speaking about? Because I sure as heck don't know a one. And uh, well, then she was basically just saying, I don't know why we're not getting married. You know, just a bunch of stuff like this. And I was like, lady, are you good? Like, I, I don't know where any of this is coming from because I hate you, but whatever uh, helps you sleep at night and i wasn't really giving in to that i was like you know what i'm not accepting that as an answer 
at all because um she's crazy and dude she just kept saying it over and over she just kept saying like oh my gosh like we just need to go get married and like so all of this isn't gonna be a problem anymore i was like how is this gonna go away if we get married isn't it gonna make it worse because i'm still not happy with you like at the end of the day i still hate her uh yeah dude i think you if she was like being 100 percent serious like dude you guys getting married would just make things like even worse bro uh, yeah, it would ruin everything. My life, probably your life, because she would just be insane and think she could do whatever she wants. And, like, it's just never gonna happen. There's zero chance that ever happens at all. And, dude, she just won't leave me alone about it. She's been talking about it nonstop. Dude, what the heck? Like, I've gotta, like, find some way to get this girl under control, because, like... Bro, this is crossing the line. Like, if she thinks you guys should get married, bro, like, she's not okay in the head. Yeah, good luck getting her under control, pal. I don't think anything can. This girl is not okay. Uh, d I know that, dude. She literally attacked me yesterday, bro. But, like, what does she mean? Like, there's a connection between you two. Like, you literally hate her. Bro, I don't know. She thinks that, like, all of this that we're doing, like, all of this me talking about how I hate her and everything. Dude, she thinks it's, like, a joke. And she's not taking it seriously. Like, she thinks I'm messing around. Like, I don't actually hate her. Bro, there's no way she thinks you're joking. Like, you would not say all the stuff you do if you were just joking, bro. That's what I said. And she just thinks it's funny when I say stuff like that. I'm like, how delusional can you be ma'am because uh you are very delusional yeah bro she's I, I don't know what's going on in her like you know a small brain but it's like not good dude no real thoughts are happening knock i'm not gonna lie like this girl yeah. is on another level of craziness and i'm trying to get it to stop bro i'm not marrying your sister and dude she just keeps asking me basically over and over and i'm like what are you on lady i, I don't even know bro but like we've got to find some way to get her to stop because like i'm tired of dealing with all of this i'm tired of like you dealing with it because i'm sure you're getting annoyed it's like every day your ex-girlfriend goes absolutely crazy or your sister goes crazy and it's just so much to handle bro like you don't even know like i mean i guess you do know because uh one lives with you and the other one is literally your ex-girlfriend so you know as well as i do but still it's a lot yeah bro like I, I don't even like know what to say right now bro like i just want to like you know try to find a way to like get her at least out of your life because like i know i can find some way to just handle it and get over it but it's i'm sure it's getting annoying for you because you don't really have a solution but yeah bro yeah i mean at the end of the day there is the solution that like you know you can deal with her but like even if you deal with everything that she's doing and stuff like that bro i feel like it's just still gonna affect me in some kind of way that i'm not excited for yeah i mean i guess dude but i, I don't even know dude like i'm just confused on why she would even like say that stuff and think you guys are like having a connection and whenever you like you know tell her you hate her she thinks it's funny or whatever but um yeah dude she's uh going a little bit crazy uh yeah she's going a lot a bit crazy bro this girl is literally asking me to marry her and i i hate her bro like she doesn't get it she thinks i'm joking when i say this like i'm being serious i hate your sister with a passion bro yeah, I don't know why, how she doesn't get that through, like, her thick skull of, like, yesterday when you told her not to speak to you, but, like... Dude, she's just insane. I don't even know what to do about her because now she's asking me to marry her. Like, she's just getting weirder and weirder as this goes on, and honestly, like I've been saying, it's too much, bro.